Hey everybody, Steve Przbrowski here. Welcome to tip number 90 in the series, <clears throat> 101 tips to ace your promotional exam. If you haven't done so already, please check out my website, code3firetrain.com. Lots of great info on it to help you or anybody else that uh, you're helping out. Um, just be the best that you can be or best that they can be. As a reminder as well, this is based on, or this these tips are based on my latest book from Fire Engineering Books and Videos of the same name and available off their website as well as mine. So tip number 90, making our way through all these tips, about 11 to go here, but tip number 90, I think it's critical to always have an all-in attitude. And I think you've heard me say, if you've listened to some of the other tips or some of my other webinars or heard me speak, I'm always, <clears throat> I'm always the guy that's glass half full. And this is unsweetened iced tea, too early for a beer, unfortunately. Yeah, beer sure tastes good tonight though. But anyway, glass half full, not half empty. But anyway, have that all in attitude. Now, if you've paid attention to some of the other tips or have seen the book, you'll see that a lot of my friends, mentors, brothers, sisters in the fire service of all ranks have added some words of wisdom or what we call voice of experience. The voice of experience to build upon what I have to offer about having an all-in attitude is for my friend, Nicole Jurodovic, Assistant Chief of San Francisco, California Fire Department. She's a great resource. She teaches a lot of classes at FDIC and she's just a great solid individual, but she provides some great supplemental information to this concept here. So why an all-in attitude is critical? I mean, think about it. Think about looking up or looking at, or I guess, um, evaluating all the leaders, supervisors, managers you've ever worked for, worked with, or heard about, or have seen, or read about. Think about those that have the best, I guess, leadership um, potential, or that maybe those that become the best leaders. You know, obviously, there's a lot of positive character traits that you hear. You know, they're positive people, they're enthusiastic, transparent, they're, you know, good communicators. Excuse me. <clears throat> and they usually have an all in attitude, meaning they don't, you know, they don't give up. We've talked about never giving up, but they're always positive, persistent, tenacious. They're always focused on the future. You know, you got to be all in, take ownership, take, you know, to have pride and ownership, like Rick, Rick Lasky says. You know, you look at what Mark Von Oppen, Mark Von Oppen, you know, one of our neighbors next door to us here in uh, Santa Clara County, he has the big four that he preaches about. You know, one of his four items, number four is have an all in attitude. You know, Mark, Captain Von Oppen has a lot of great stuff that he shares out there, an awesome message. Another great instructor from FDIC, written lots of articles, blogs, a lot of good intel. You know, he says it best to have an all-in attitude. I think that's why it's critical. If regardless of your rank, you got to have an all-in attitude. You know, and again, it's going to show in your positive enthusiasm, in your positive, you know, way you present yourself. Because again, people want to be around positive people. People want to be around people that are all, well, most people do. There's always the negative Nancys, negative uh Negative, um, can't think of a man's name that starts in N. Well, I guess I won't try to have a male version of that. But anyway, there's those, those negative people that always want to bring you down or the saying, misery loves company. Don't be one of them. Don't let the haters get you. But all in attitude, I think is critical. You know, Paul Combs, as I've mentioned throughout the book, he's been very fortunate. He's been very fortunate. I've been very fortunate, as well as you, to have, have him allow me to use a number of his awesome artwork pieces scattered throughout this book, because I think it really helps prove my points that I'm trying to share, as well as the voices of experience. You know, Paul does the artwork for FDIC, Fire Engineering, go check his website out, great stuff. But he had this one piece of art, all in attitude, you know, I think this sums it up right here, you know, you got your leader in the front, let's go slay some dragons. You know, and of course, that's the spirit. You know, nobody wants the leader. Yeah, I think we may go slay some dragons today. Maybe, possibly. Well, I don't know. Maybe we won't do that today. Okay, yeah. Think about that. We've all, like I said, had those folks in position, in leadership positions that we work for, work with, heard about, read about, were. They don't really have much passion, much excitement. They don't take that ownership. They don't have that pride. They don't have that all in attitude. I mean, be that person. I mean, balance it. Passion is great. Have that passion. But sometimes passion can be a pro and a con, positive and a negative. Balance it. But 
be all in. If you're going to do something, be all in. Don't half-ass anything. I liken this back to one of our retired captains. I remember he's getting ready for the battalion chief's test, and he's longtime captain. He's like, you know what? I think I want to be a battalion chief. He goes, but you know what? I'm not really going to put any time and effort in. I'm just going to see how good I do on the written test. He goes, oh, what the hell? He goes, I don't want the position that bad, but I'll take the test. That's what he was saying. So good, solid captain, been on the job 25 plus years, takes the battalion chief's test. Well, the first step, the written test. Comes back. I go, hey, how'd you do on the captain's written test? He goes, oh, shit. He goes, Steve, he goes, I missed it by one point. He goes, I failed. He goes, I thought I'd pass it. He goes, I've been a captain for 25 years, been on the job for whatever time frame. I thought I knew the policies. I thought I knew all the stuff a battalion chief would need to know. He goes, and I go, well, you you didn't put that much time and effort, in, right? I go, he goes, well, that's what, now, of course, he's kicking himself because he goes, one test question. He goes, had I maybe studied, <laughs> he goes, I might have at least passed. And then I could have gone to the assessment center and maybe got promoted. Well, it wet his whistle so much that now he's kicking himself because he realizes that he should have probably put some time and effort into it. I mean, even just a little bit, he might have passed and then maybe you never know what would have happened. And then, of course, all those guys that were on the promotion list all got promoted because there wasn't that many that passed. And now he's really kicking himself and he never got promoted to battalion chief. But have an all in attitude, you know, don't half ass something. If be that person that's going to go in full speed ahead, damn the torpedoes, unless obviously there's information that you're made aware of otherwise that tells you to backtrack or stand down or get the fuck out of there because of whatever else is going on in life hey sometimes you gotta step down to step ahead or step back to step ahead or step to the side to step ahead and then regroup and go forward so if you're going to go take the time and energy not to mention spend the money to do something like take a promotional process then don't waste your time or the time of others by half-assing it, especially those that you've asked advice for or that have been rooting for you or mentoring you. Be all in. So as always, thank you very much for the gift of your time, everybody. Until the next episode, we'll see you soon.